Okay, you got through your first year, and uh, let's say it was a great year. You're in September, it's in Montana, for example. Your bees did well. They have a number of supers on their hives that are fully drawn out and fully loaded with honey. So it's time to get it out of the, uh, the frames and into uh, a storage containers where you can bottle it off. So let's just, we're going to have to pretend here for a minute because I don't have any drawn out frames here. But let's say this is fully loaded. It was probably going to weigh 10, 15 pounds. And uh, what we're going to have to do is uh, get the honey out of this frame and down into that bottom bucket that you see. It uh, just happens to be a five gallon bucket. A couple tools you're going to need in your, in your honey house. One is a, a capping scratcher. And uh, the other thing is actually an uncapping knife. They come in a couple varieties. You can do it by uh, uh, electric, like this one, that, that plugs in and it kind of melts as it goes along. There is also another style that uh, you can heat up like in a, a big uh, pan of water and keep it uh, uh, warm. And it's, notice the serrated edges, so it's easy to cut along. So you're going to actually cut the cappings off because the bees do cap the honey over in the hive. And how that works, if we can kind of visualize this, is you take your uncapping knife right along the edge and just kind of slide it right along the edge of the frame because the bees should have it drawn out that far. And it will take off the cappings just right along that edge and leave the honey inside each of the cells. And uh, you'd have an uncappings tank that you would take all the cappings off of. You'd use a capping scratcher to get into little corners like this where they, uh, your knife couldn't get to or perhaps it wasn't drawn out quite all the way. And you notice the needle-like uh, edges on it, so it just, it'll just, uh, just dig in far enough to take the cappings off. So when you're done with that, the next thing to do is actually put it in the extractor. It's uncapped, that's what we call it, the frame's uncapped. Now it slides right into the extractor that you have uh, at, your, at your location. You do this for as many frames as you've got, and as many uh, uh, that your extractor will take. Extractors come many different sizes, many different uh, uh, setups. This one happens to be a six frame uh, extractor with a power unit, excuse me. The power unit's nice because all you do is plug it into the wall and let it start spinning. They make hand crank ones as well, and for the hobbyist, that might be all that you might need. But you're gonna go through this process and fill up the actual extracting tank and when it's full you would put the lid down turn it on and uh, let it start spinning by centrifugal force it actually spins the honey out of both sides of your frame either both sides and then what you would do is open up the gate down here and allow that honey to go into a bucket and then you're ready to uh, filter that off and uh, then you use whatever style of of containers you want to use to give away at Christmas or sell at a farmer's market or whatever you'd like to do. We have all sorts of things and good examples up here on the wall from little jugs to little honey bears to pails to actual glass jars. So that's the sort of things you need to uh, use in the fall. When you're done, you would pull these frames back out, put them right back in their box and take it right back out to the hive and put it back on and let the bees clean it up before winter sets in. By letting them clean it up, they'll take it down and store it down into their brood chambers. Then you can pull these boxes off for the winter. You're back down to your two brood chambers, put the cover on, you're ready to get them through the winter.